And we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut here on Richard's online YouTube channel. Today's book Richard will be reviewing for us is titled The Familiar F Mammals of North America. This is the National Audubon Society Pocket Field Guide. Uh, this goes in with the other Peterson field guides that Richard hasn't been able to obtain uh, through the uh, hatches uh, strategically located throughout uh, northern Amazon and his private cellars that he contracted through on Johnson through a variety of personal eBay shoppers. Richard became fascinated with the wildlife after 2014 when he started his cooperative research blog, which you can find in the link down in the description. Richard was a Boy Scout in his early years and his child years, so he uh, completely revised all the photography that he collected throughout his Boy Scout years, and he compiled it onto his blog, which was an underground tunnel system where he did interviews and papers, but nothing ever seemingly materialized. Though his diagrams can show how effortlessly continuous trench uh, Richard does continually strain the containers for the long-term storage in a technical advised uh, hiking and camping trip. Richard is a fanatical marine biologist and he is an avid reader. Uh, Richard was able to obtain this book um, sometime after 2014 when he uh, found that it was incredibly informational and a, uh, a good help to anybody that wants to start hiking and camping in uh, the North American region. Richard is in fact a New York native, so the Adirondacks and Catskills were second nature to his uh, a Thorian uh, labyrinth, which he considered underground um, agencies. Uh, Richard is also a driver of Honda Civic, which uh, is irrelevant to the story, but he felt that it is uh, needed, and uh, the administration decides that during the operation, the laboratory dispatched was a Californian naval base where they tested the parameters with great success. And that is how we are led to this piece today. Um, Richard concludes that this piece is very well done. It is a two thumbs up for this piece, two thumbs up for the National Oil Society Pocket Guide, Familiar Mammals of North America. This, this book is a pocket guide, as you can see next to your basic hand. It is a smaller piece in the dimensions from north to south coincide with the different dimensions. So north to south you get about about two or seven degree angle. And the breaking point up top here and the breaking point down here. These are both formulated with a plot substantial where you can find that the degree north to south is a little bit less less. So there's fluid and the fluid like flows through. And you can feel that with this piece right here. We're going to get into the piece. But this is Richard's piece. So we have to bear in motion and bear in mind that um, it was after the uh, COVID pandemic that Richard started his engulfing reading paraphernalia, which was written and illustrated by Jacqueline Rennish and Richard Hefner, who Richard uh, collaborated with uh, while everybody was working home during the 2019 pandemic. <clears throat> Richard also did a lot of his photography in North America, uh, although he's not a Canadian citizen, he did get his engineering bachelor's degree through a private and intriguing public school that can be found in uh, the Yukon Valley, where he ultimately met uh, Orrin Johnson. Now, as we take a look at this piece here, it is a soft cover, but it is in pretty good condition. Um, this piece was uh, purchased by Richard as a formality. Uh, after his uh, intriguing comparing point of the mammals of North America. So it's got great bend, as you can see. The piece got great bend, and these correlations from this side to this side do match up well with the top and bottom. So you're going to want to understand that the correlation from nipple to nipple, north to south, cricket, cricket, brings it back and flow, and you get a full price for this piece. So this is a very good piece. Um, as we take a look at the piece right here, it's got very good shine and good cream, great cream. So bottom cream is in good condition, side cream, good condition, top cream, good condition, and uh, the side. Audon pain, mammals, canup, very good. And on the back, 
This is just more informational dialect about the National Album Society Pocket Guides, which can be found throughout uh, many of society's, uh, you know, constructed um, sheet steels, which despite the fact in late August, Richard continued his fishing expedition. So here we have the barcode and the pricing. United States 1595 and Canadian 2195. So Richard was still able to obtain this for less than 20 bucks, uh, since he's not a Canadian citizen. But man, does Richard get these pieces at, at good deals. It is a steal. So as we open it up, we're going to get uh, all the familiar mammals that are in the North American region. And they're going to be full in color, which is uh, a point that this piece had that Richard really wanted to identify and make sure that he, he owned it. Because this is what really set this piece above others, um, according to Robert S. Allen of the North American Pride. Um, it was a shocking truth, but uh, it was well worth the discovery. So this does have uh, informational and pic picture guide of pretty much every North American animal that we're going to be able to look at. Uh, so there's mice, there's rodents, there's a lot of bunnies, um, there's the red squirrel, and it shows you where it's located, its footprints, the identification, the similar species, the habitat, the range, and what it looks like and what it eats. Of course, this is all valuable information if you uh, plan to um, keep all the stuff entirely under wraps. Um, this is the southern black mole. This is the white-footed mouse. Uh, this is the Virginia possum. And this is the snow-toed mole. This is the snow-toed mole. Uh, the star nose. It's a uh, Arabic uh, glutation for the uh, pocket gopher, which can be found uh, in that certain region. And this, of course, is the leash shrew. The lynx. Long-tailed weasel, badger, white-tailed deer, mountain goat, and uh, everything else. So once again, this piece uh, extremely educational as a as a pocket field. Uh, Richard was very much uh, thankful for this piece, as this was one of the first piers and first guides that Richard uh, laid his eyes on, which controls most of the oxygen in the continent. Uh, undeniably, this is something that was hinted at while Richard uh, expressed interest in joining the Navy and the uh, New, New York American Marines, which confiscated all of his eggs of his uh, Red Oscars and Silver Arowanas when he um, started up his 125-gallon fish tank of his African cichlid um, ecosystem that he started. He also maintained that while he had an obsession with hydroponics, he created the aquaponics system that ultimately led to feed his fish through the food and plant life duration, what the offspring and the airflow of the skull bones that were found from the minnow toads and the South Pole were marked on this when you can use weather control to formulate how scientists interact with hydrodynamics and the Earth's core. The gyromagnetic effects on weather, Richard wrote down in his blog, ultimately gave him a surprising international acclaim through the geoscope year of 2014, which he saw bombarding the ionosphere with nuclear weapons undergoing his life. That is why Richard started his blog and he's able to maintain it. Richard also maintains that his marine biology friends that he met in the offskirts of Virginia and Pennsylvania in the year 2014 concluded with this, and they also publicly exclaimed his field identity is shown from the distant red lines of that of thought. Richard would thank you for today's view, and would ultimately wish that you comment below any other pieces that you would like him to review. Thank you, this is Richard Reviews.